Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at the top five user-rated games on Xbox One as of today, March 14th, 2015. Whether you trust the judgment of like-minded gamers or not, the Xbox One allows users to vote using a five-star rating system. A game's rating can be viewed on the store page, and it's from this data that the top-rated games are calculated. The question we're asking is, do you agree with the majority of vote here? At number 5 we have the exclusive and well-rounded package of Halo The Master Chief Collection, which although comprises of old games, is still a massive game for the console and fans of the series. It comes as no surprise given the quality of the game that it rests comfortably in the top 5. Shake it off Marines! Clear the crash site! Go, go, go! At number 4, Ubisoft's pirating adventure Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is regarded by many as one of the best in the long-running series, and although a multi-format title, it's a grandiose spectacle all round with its stunning locations, stealth come action based combat, and of course, riding the waves in those bountiful water vessels. At number 3, this is perhaps a no-brainer and possibly mirrored on other platforms too, as Rockstar's gargantuan modern action role-playing game GTA V is heralded as a masterful work of art. With its newly added heist for online play and enough to do offline, this is the epitome of modern gaming. At number 2, unsurprisingly or not, Mojang's Minecraft is a cultural phenomena that's ushered in a generation of younger gamers into the fold, making it almost like an institution for some. Its popularity on multiple systems is well met, and it's no surprise that it's highly rated on the Microsoft platform, considering they bought the company. At number one, perhaps robbing Minecraft from the top slot due to its relatively new arrival means it's a bit unfair to feature here, but there's lots of positivity towards Moon Studios, Ori and the Blind Forest, which not only tells a moving tale, but presents some gorgeous visuals with excellent gameplay, making it worthy to be here. The questions remain, can it hold onto its top rated position over the longer term? Okay, I'm Rob Cram. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for an update in the near future.